but just try to control yourself. For a dramatic three-part reunion. I don't want nothing from you. You know what I wanted? What? A family. Me too. I wanted a brother-in-law. Me too. And Me I wanted too. my it's sister. True. The Real Housewives of New Jersey reunion part three is a storm of tension and revelations that no one saw coming. This is a night where emotions ran high and secrets unfolded. Let's reveal some hot revelations straight from The Real Housewives of New Jersey Reunion Part 3. You won't believe what we've uncovered. Well, before we dive in, are you thirsty for the juiciest scoops? Well, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell with Celebrity Pop. Let's dive into this whirlwind of fabulous chaos together. Imagine the scene. The husbands have gathered. Their presence is commanding, and the atmosphere is thick with anticipation. Particularly, Louis Ruelas seems to be the focal point of the night, with the other men having him in their sights. The evening takes a serious turn when the conversation pivots to a previous comment by Louis Ruelas. He claims to have worn Gacinto Gorga's pajamas, father of Joe Gorga and Teresa Guadice, as a way to comfort Teresa and her daughters. I wear your father's pajamas at night to make them feel safe and loving. Do you know that? During the reunion, Ruelas admits to misspeaking and clarifies that he actually wore Giacinto's sweatpants. He acknowledges that this initial statement was creepy, but insists it was meant to be an endearing gesture. What a bewildering turn of events. Moving on, we discover that Dolores Catania's new love interest, Polly Connell, is still technically married. In fact, he and his estranged wife have been separated for a whopping 14 years. When asked about their future together, Connell and Catania admitted they're not in a rush to tie the knot. However, the issue of Connell's marital status remains a potential obstacle. Despite this, Connell reassures everyone that he and his ex are on good terms. In a surprising twist, Catania's ex-husband, Frank Catania, declares that his love for Dolores has evolved into a deep friendship and has nothing to do with anything sexual. He even shares the exciting news that he and his girlfriend, Brittany, are moving in together. Meanwhile, Jennifer Aiden's husband, Bill, addresses the pool house drama. He admits that retreating to the pool house to have his own space caused problems within the family. Bill, a busy cosmetic surgeon, explains that his demanding job sometimes leaves him needing personal time. However, he emphasizes that he has made adjustments, spending more quality time with his loved ones, and clarifying that he never intended to convey a lack of interest in being around them. It seems like Bill is working towards finding a better balance. Now let's get to the heart of the matter. Joe Gorga and Luis Ruelas' explosive business ordeal, famously dubbed Pizzagate. It all started when Gorga approaches Ruelas with a plan to open a pizza oven business. Ruelas invested $110,000 to kickstart the venture, but disagreements arose when it came to determining ownership percentages. John Fuda, another husband in the mix, points out that having a clear initial agreement could have avoided the tension and confusion. Money and business dealings always have a way of stirring up trouble. But the real fireworks begin when the husbands unleash their accusations against Louis Ruelas. They accuse him of meddling in their personal lives and engaging in questionable activities. Allegations range from Ruela supposedly calling Margaret Joseph's son at work to investigating the mother of John Fuda's child. Ruela vehemently denies these claims, but tensions run high as Fuda presents what appears to be his own file of evidence against Ruelas. The husbands are determined to uncover the truth. And just when you think things couldn't get more intense, Bo Dietl enters the equation. Ruelas acknowledges his long-standing friendship with the famous detective and reveres that Dietl was instrumental in arranging a bodyguard for him and Teresa due to death threats. The reveal is both chilling and confounding. Imagine the wedding of your sister, a day that should be filled with joy and celebration. Now imagine missing it by choice. That's the somber reality for Joe Gorga, who, like a character in an epic, chose not to attend his sister Teresa's wedding. His reason, draped in the heavy fabric of years of tumultuous relationships and drama, especially after Teresa became involved with Ruelas. The earlier Pizzagate that swirled the pot and Ruelas' accusations against Joe's wife Melissa for alleged infidelity were the tempest that kept him ashore. One could feel the gravity of the decision, the weight it bears on a brother's shoulders. In stark contrast to the thundering storm, as the reunion nears its conclusion, a ray of hope pierces through. The ladies seem willing to bury the hatchet, to move on and embrace the future, all except Teresa Gudice and Melissa Gorga. The sisters-in-law stand at the crossroads where paths diverge. Melissa speaks of family and seems willing to move wherever the winds may take them. But Teresa, she stands her ground, resolute and unwavering, declaring she's finished with her brother and sister-in-law. The finality of her words leaves the audience hanging on to every breath, hearts pounding. But wait, Ruelas makes one final attempt. 
a valiant knight seeking resolution, trying to smooth the waves that have crashed through the night. His apology extends like an olive branch, but alas, John Fuda, a guardian at the gates, denies him entry. His condition? Admission of the alleged investigation into his family. The audience is torn, the air rife with what-ifs. But hold on to your seats, for there's more. An uncensored and extended edition of the reunion is revealed, exclusively available on Peacock. This is the hidden treasure, the secrets that lie in the crypt waiting to be unearthed. In a maelstrom of raw emotion and fury, the Real Housewives of New Jersey reunion reaches its pinnacle as thunder rolls and tempers flare. The room turns into an electric battlefield, with Joe Gorga and Louis Ruelas at the center. The tension is so palpable, it crackles through the air. As the storm swirls, Joe Gorga, whose eyes are ablaze with indignation, unleashes a torrent of accusations upon Ruelas, his voice quaking the very foundations. You know what you are? You're a woman abuser, brother. That's what you are, he thunders. His words hang heavy as Ruelas recoils and fiercely denies the claim. But like a river in spate, Gorga is relentless, and his refusal to elaborate further cloaks the room in a shroud of mystery. Suddenly, a voice of resilience cuts through the tempest. It is Teresa Gudice, a tempestuous goddess in her own right, fiercely defending her husband. Her voice, a symphony of defiance, resounds through the halls. Don't say that to my husband. He treats me amazing. Well, here's a little disclaimer. Stay up to date on all the sizzling drama as it unfolds. Feed your appetite for celebrity scandals with Celebrity Pop. Subscribe now and don't forget to hit that notification bell. We're in this together, dishing out the juicy details. Back to the tale so dramatic, Ruela, stepping forth like a warrior ready for battle, throws a proverbial gauntlet at Gorga's feet. Desperate people do desperate things. His words, a subtle challenge, hint at an impending reckoning. Amidst the chaos, Melissa Gorga, a voice of reason amidst the storm, questions Ruelas. Ruelas, a figure both intriguing and enigmatic, reveals a glimpse of his nature, acknowledging his tendency to be a bully. The exchange with Joe turns cryptic. Phrases like, in due time, get thrown into the turmoil, thickening the plot. The audience is at the edge of their seats, clinging to every word. As the storm reaches its crescendo, the families are reminded of their tumultuous past, which nearly resulted in a physical altercation during the season 13 finale. The mention of rumors about Melissa's alleged infidelity and Ruelas' claim that he had Joe's back only thickens the drama. Like a hurricane passing, the tempest begins to ebb. It is in this quiet that resolution starts to emerge, albeit with a sense of finality that is as crisp as the cold winds. The two families stand in the eye of the storm, making a mutual decision to move on, but apart. Forget about me, I will forget about you. Gorga's words resonate like a solemn vow. In a moment reminiscent of ancient warriors parting ways after a battle, Ruelas extends his hand. The firm shake signifies the end of an era and the beginning of a new chapter. I wish you well, Ruelas' words echo through the now silent hall. While the story isn't over yet, as the electric atmosphere of the Real Housewives of New Jersey reunion takes hold, a frenzy of emotion brews. The air thickens as host Andy Cohen shoots a question towards Teresa Gudice about a rumored comment suggesting her brother Joe could do better than his wife, Melissa. Teresa's vehement denial brings an unexpected twist. Joe claims it was Teresa's daughter, Gia, who made the comment. Suddenly, the stage morphs into a court, with Gia's voice via a phone call serving as a witness. Accusations whirl like leaves in a storm, with words such as lying and disgraceful being tossed around. In an emotional crescendo, Teresa, visibly distraught and overwhelmed, storms out with tears streaming down her face. This night leaves an indelible mark, with the audience and viewers gripped by the raw emotion and the familial bonds put to the test. Will this tempest drive them apart, or can healing be found? Okay, we promise, that's the last turn. Amidst the high-voltage energy of the Real Housewives of New Jersey reunion, an emotional avalanche swept through the stage. Teresa Gadice, the series stalwart, found herself locked in a heated duel of words with her brother Joe Gorga. The echoes of a contentious phone call involving Teresa's daughter, Gia Gudice, reverberated through the air, causing a collision of sentiments. As the Gorga siblings clashed over an alleged comment Gia made about Melissa, the tide of emotion swelled into a tsunami. Then, like the calm after the storm, a poignant moment unfolded backstage. Tearful and dispirited, Teresa found solace in an unexpected ally, the reunion host, Andy Cohen. Their hushed tones painted the backstage with vulnerability and reflection, as Andy offered apologies and Teresa poured out her heart about the drama with her brother. This heartfelt exchange, woven into the cacophony of the reunion, added layers of depth to the saga, leaving the audience glued to their seats. Well, folks, that was a roller coaster. As the curtain falls on this explosive reunion, 
one can only wonder what twists await us in the world of the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Stay tuned as we dissect every revelation and keep our ear to the ground in the simmering world of Garden State's glamour and drama. Smash that like button and subscribe to Celebrity Pop, your VIP pass to all the sizzling star-studded scandals.